Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We got a new RV. So yeah, we went to uh, Macon today and did a little bit of RV shopping. We really specifically went there to look at a couple specific RVs. Uh, we didn't do a lot of video in because we knew we were gonna be doing a lot of talking to the dealers and asking a bunch of questions and kind of looking at what we think is a more detailed look at some of the RVs that we were really, really interested in. We were really interested in like two or three mm -hmm. that we were really serious about and um, we're, we were in the window of if we find the right deal at the right time, we're gonna go ahead and pull the trigger because we, we do have a space, we're on the, on the waiting list for a space um, at a storage facility that we're gonna park the RV until we can actually launch um, because you know we still live in a neighborhood Set up a homeowner association. We can't just park the camper right in the uh, in the yard. Big so, brown on that. Um, you want to tell everybody what we got? I'm allowed to tell. Yeah. Okay. We got a Montana 3121 RL. We've shown this RV probably a couple times on our on our RV shopping videos. I know we we did it the most recent one because there was one in Calera that we looked at, yeah. and there are probably uh, a couple others. We've we've really been interested in this in this model, and it was a good price. We got a lot of extra add-ons, yeah. um, warranty for almost free, extended <laughs> warranty, and all that stuff for almost yeah. free. In the future, we're going to talk more about our experience with RV shopping. We're going to talk about you know advice that we can give. Uh, we've been shopping for RVs for about a year and a half. Yeah. So I would like to say that we are seasoned in the art of shopping, <laughs> <laughs> but now we have an RV and we don't really know anything about owning one. Well, we kind of <laughs> have one. We don't have it yet. We don't have it yet. Um, we have to go back and get the hitch work done on the truck and we have to pick up the RV because the one that we went and looked at today didn't have the color scheme that we wanted for an interior uh, scheme. So we had to get one shipped over from South Carolina. So the one that we looked at today is not the actual one, uh, but it's it's exactly the same except for the color, the color of the, the furniture. furniture. And the decor. Uh, everything else is, is exactly the same. So that's why we're not showing you any video of the actual uh, RV yet because it's still in South Carolina. It's, it's gonna come this week and uh, we won't be able to go next week to, to do the walkthrough and all that stuff because we're going to uh, one of my coworkers uh, getting married uh, this weekend. So we won't be able to go, um, but probably the following weekend we will at least go and look at the RV. We'll do the walkthrough, the inspection, uh, all the detailed stuff and probably get the hitch work done on the on the truck and the dealership's gonna hold on to the RV for us until we uh, until our name comes up on the waiting list uh, that our spots if it doesn't available. come up by then anyway <clears throat> yeah it might come up before then because they said two weeks to a month uh, for the space um, that we wanted to get um, that's locked and has security surveillance and stuff like that and pretty affordable so that's where we want the RV to be um, until we actually until we actually leave but once we get it and we get it back in this area i mean we're going to start um going out locally and checking out some some spots and Little breaking trips. it in and um and there's the rv park uh, on the military installation on fort benning which is pretty close to us uh, which is actually just right uh, down the street from our house and uh so that's probably where we'll go for a couple weekends just to hang out and just to get you know acclimated to you know backing it into spots and hooking it up and unhooking it and leveling and dumping and all the fun stuff that comes along with uh, with having an RV. How satisfied are you with the decision? Very satisfied. Yeah? Yeah. I think we're happy. It's a, I mean, I predicted we were going to end up with a Montana just because they had a lot that we liked. Yeah, they. there were several models of the Montana that we liked and this is this was the shortest in length out of all those that we liked. So we wanted to stay below 40 feet, we did that. Uh, this is a 35 foot coach. And um, hopefully we'll be able to get into more places because of that. I know we'll still be limited because we have a long truck and we have, we'll still have a 35 foot uh, fifth wheel. But 
you know, we were looking at ones that were upwards of 40. Uh, we definitely wanted to stay less than 40, but we were looking at ones that would, would even more severely limit yeah. our access to certain places. So I'm super happy about it. Um, out of all of the Montanas, that was my favorite. Um, we got a good deal on it. Um, we were definitely interested in a couple of others. Um, there were some in the Grand Design uh, lineup that we were very interested in. And then there were um, some in the Jayco lineup that we were very interested in. And so those three um, were the ones that, that came down to the to the final ones. And uh, the Montana 3121 was it. So we pulled the trigger. It's official. It's going to happen. It's ours. It's going to happen now. Mm -hmm. um, no going back. Nope. So. Um, now we just got to learn how to use it. Yeah. We had a whole different video planned for this week. We were going to talk about how we made the decision to go full-time RVing, um, but it turned out that we bought an RV. Mm -hmm. So um, we'll run that video another another time, maybe next weekend. So, oh yeah, before we say goodbye, um, here's some bonus footage of us <laughs> shooting. <laughs> for our thumbnail. Which I, think, I haven't looked at the video yet, but I think it's going to be really funny. Because um, <laughs> we wanted to get a cool thumbnail and I had a good idea for it. I mean, you've already seen the thumbnail if you're watching this video, but um, filming for that was fun because we were out in the parking lot and jumping around like idiots. And people are like, well, what are these idiots doing? <laughs> jumping and jumping around. But it's cool. I hope it works out. Yeah. Cool. Anything else? Nope. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. We're happy. Thanks for watching, guys. Let's go get some ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> Celebratory ice cream. <laughs> cool. All right. See y'all later. Bye. Bye.